was doing is fucking around fucking lying. I'd rather walk around my truck. Deer in headlights. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 you were telling me about it. Like, the reason I'm lucky is because Ryan on the Ox Top. We got a special guest with us. We drove all the way down to Orlando to kick it. He has been special guest with Kevin Gates. Have you ever had your pussy head by your mouth full of diamonds? Yeah. Homie Shaq on the track. <laughs> sort of the legal lean. Tattoo Barbie over here. <laughs> yeah, right? They do tats and stuff. Why don't you do that? Yeah. 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 He just dropped that yeah. new track, Tony Hawk. Right the fucking neck. This is the after show. I know you came yeah. out in Orlando. It's yeah. a tough place. It's been the biggest transition into moving out and still being independent somewhere else. Eventually, it's like when it, it's so good when you reach that national fan base. I mean, Florida's changing in a great way, and I'm loving where the scene was. But it's like when I was more living here, it was like you're either just spitting straight shit about selling drugs and robbing people and killing people, just the most negative shit, or you're not popping, you know? There, there was no lane for what I was doing. Once my, my stuff went national, I started seeing, you know, Indiana, you get booked in Detroit, you know, Michigan. They mess with totally different artists because like stuff like Slim American and to tell me about Yellow Wolf and stuff, I'm like, where does he have fans? Like I ask around Orlando, like oh, he's pretty hot here, but like it's not like crazy. Like out here, it's like they're gonna be with like you know Migos and Twenty One Savage. Like they like the most commercial. But there's other places where it's like the more alternative artists who are doing something different that are not. Yeah, exactly. Are, are what's hitting? Like they're like oh, what that radio stuff like. And I know you did a, a couple of joints with Jelly Roll, Struggle Jones, yeah. and hopping out and, and getting into the the country rap type deal. How do you feel like that sound? That's something that you're gonna keep playing. Yeah, I think. It's, I think it's really dope. It's like it, it almost adopted me. Times are changing in such a beautiful way. It should be so segregated. It's like you're either doing country music, you're doing hood rap, where it's like it's either all white people or all black people, right. it's all Spanish event. Like people did not mix together and, and get along, is what you know, as well. So the country rap stuff, it came out of nowhere. And I think once that audience started liking rap, they're just like, Fuck yeah, that was your best believe doing this thing. I'm fucking lying. I'd rather walk in my truck like out of nowhere when they used to just listen to straight country music, you know? This is a touring artist since it's expensive tattoo. I have my whole back piece. It's like very show you what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I run my tattoo studio in Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah, all right, cool. I've been, I've been happy to have the 69, you know, I've been, I've been mine. You know, so the infinite number, you know, you know. Ultimate pleasure, I'll touch your great stuff. What tattoo know? means the This most doesn't condone stitching, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what means the man? I got yeah, so many, man. so many dope ones. It's like as a collective, it's just like all me. I have my mom on my leg. That's probably the most awesome one now. And she looks like a fucking rock star. And people be thinking that shit's like Mick Jagger or something. No, that's, that's fine. My mom. That's, <laughs> fine. that's fine. That's a big dedication. That's yeah. Awesome. yeah. That's fucking sick, man. How, how long on average does it, does it take me to sit down and really write something? Are you a quick kicker? Do you kick out shit? I can. Like if I really force myself and lock myself in the studio, I can do stuff pretty quick. My usual is I take a lot of time because I usually write long car rides going back on the song. So sometimes I want to make a lot more music than I do. So sometimes when you're touring now, it gets a little tough to get in the studio and stuff like that, you know? My dad passed away and I'm trying to get a memorial done and I'm only looking for like quality work. I meet all kinds of cats, but they're fucking dickheads. And I feel like it's the same thing with music. Oh, yeah. Trying to get another artist to support what you're doing. Know, like, I would just be like, bro, like, you know that we can all ride together. Uh -huh. like, do that shit, bro. Like, my son did this tattoo on me, bro. Yeah. It was a whole thing about manifestation. I heard you talk about it on the other day. All the time. Like, you're promoting that. It's a real big thing. It's really important, man. So, like, I definitely want to keep everybody, all of our viewers, to go check it out. Best Beliefs page. Promoting positivity, manifesting success, inspiring people to go what they want to do, live their dreams. So check us out. Just wanted to have a special thank you to the homie Bez Believe for coming out to Orlando, doing his thing, having amazing energy, being extremely humble to all the artists and the fans that were there to see him. We wanted to say thank you for taking the time to do that interview on the Rise and Grind with the Ox Talk and giving us all the valuable information and your point of view from being a touring artist. Glad you guys had safe travels. Make sure if you're anywhere in any of the areas, you go check out the Mouthful of Diamonds tour. Also go to bezbelieve.com, check out his Legal Lean, any of his merchandise. 
support these local artists, support these other artists that are out here, some of the coming up artists. Most of them are independent, like us, entrepreneurs, rising, grinding, hustling every day to make sure that our dreams come true. So uh, hopefully this inspires you to find a goal that you have and to grind it grasp it and continuously push for that. We'd like to take a special thanks for everybody who's come to Oxford Inc. Supported us in our journeys and have subscribing to our YouTube channels. Make sure you guys put those push notifications on. Smash that like button. Don't forget down in the comments below. Let us know what artist you guys would like us to try to get an interview with also next and if you have connections into any of those make sure that you leave a comment some information. We'll leave our links our uh, Gmail down below and build this awareness of artists and try to get this this network of all of us together We are on the midst of building some great things here in Jacksonville, Florida Trying to build some awareness of manifestation positivity Make sure you guys check us out and for now have fun and don't forget to rock the ox